The use of drones linked to ground sensors was pioneered by the nonprofit American Border Patrol in 2004. Aircraft is taking border security to new heights. Maria Nider shows us the Border Hawk now has a new toy, night vision. But now the American Border Patrol has built the Border Hawk, an aircraft that sees through the darkness with an infrared camera to search and record foot traffic. Crossers. On the ground, the crew monitors the plane's flight from a control center, patrolling hotspots where foot traffic triggers strategically placed sensors. So when a sensor does go off, what we have is the ability to send that aircraft where, from wherever it is directly to that spot. Working with a private firm, Border Technology, American Border Patrol continued testing new sensors and drones. Okay, on the way. All right, it picked him up right there. They didn't even make it to the 600 foot marker. Did it pick him up already? You heard it. Now, Keep coming. Will, will your helicopter be oh, yeah. oh, I see somebody walking out there now, yeah. Okay. Out there by number six. There's three of them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, they're actually legal. There they are right there. Six. There comes the helicopter. Behind you. Check out. Okay, turn it over here. Oh, yeah. Take a picture over here now. See the chocolate? You see it? What? Oh, yeah. Nice. Can you see it? Yes, yes. There's the drone. Is that flying automatically, Glenn, or yes, somebody it, monitoring it? It's on automatic. It goes out to the site. And it, when does it start videoing them? All the time. By mid-2017, the Sidearm Hermes system had achieved significant capabilities. The drone, called Hermes, waits for an alarm from Sidearm. Okay, start. A single person begins walking from the border toward the line of sidearm sensors. Right. Sidearm detects the person and sounds an alarm. An automatic signal is sent to Hermes and it heads for the target. People red. This caught the attention of local media. This new technology picks up if a person, car, or animal is walking along the border. And once it does, a signal is sent and the drone takes off. Solar powered, out of sight, can run any length of the border. Glenn Spencer runs the American Border Patrol, a nonprofit organization working towards securing the border. Spencer says their technology uses a sensor that can detect a person from 500 feet away. The American Border Patrol says although the system doesn't necessarily replace a real wall, it can perform like a virtual wall by assuring detection and apprehension. During their testing, the automated drones found people on foot and inside a driving car after they set off sensors. And it can pick up people 500 feet into Mexico. So by the time they get to the border, there's a drone there waiting for them. We believe this is a way to tell us how well the border is secure and a better way for to use our resources. Ivan Rodriguez, KGUN 9, on your side. In early 2018, two Hermes drones, one named Hilda and another named George, were sent to intercept targets at opposite ends of the sidearm sensor line simultaneously. Sidearm detects people at the east end of the range and announces people red. People red, the Hermes. Spooked horses set off an alarm, quickly ignored by sidearm. People red. Hilda is launched and begins a pre-programmed flight plan based on the sensor at the center of the alarm. Sidearm detects human activity at the west end of the range and announces people red. People red. Within five seconds of the alarm, George is launched to intercept. People red.
Applying pre-programmed search patterns, Hilda and George located their targets. Search patterns completed, both returned to base for automatic landings. A drone at the center of a five-mile sidearm segment could reach the furthest target in two minutes. The design concept would have drones housed in prefabricated silos with battery carousels, allowing relaunch in minutes. Sidearm comes in five-mile segments that can be joined to provide a seamless system for an entire border. It can detect and count all border intruders. It can provide a direct measure of operational control of the border. In our next segment, we will show how a new sensor has been added to detect small drones and how the Sidearm Maui system can act as an effective tactical multiplier for customs and border protection.